Another commonly asked question, how to manage malocclusion in FMR? Let's go phase wise with the key steps and scientific rationale. Comprehensive assessment, CBCT or OPG with phase bows and mounted cast, digital bite forces or text scan wherever it's available. A precise record of condylar position and existing occlusal contacts is essential to avoid transferring pre-existing disharmony into the new restorations. Treatment sequencing decision. If crowding or arch width problems exceed 2 to 3 mm, plan short term clear aligners or fixed appliance therapies. Severe class 2 or class 3 skeletal base may warrant orthognathic surgery prior to FMR. Correcting the malpositioned units orthodontically preserves the tooth structure and yields better load distribution than prep to fit dentistry. Establishing the therapeutic position. Use Lucia Jig or Magnum D programmer one to two weeks. Capture the centric relation with a verified record. Evaluate and if indicated, increase the VDO with a reversible splint trial. Splint mediated CR records improve reproducibility. Reversible VDO trials mitigate the neuromuscular adaptation issues. Occlusal designs. Select the occlusal concept. MPO with canine guidance, which is seen in most of the dented cases, group function where the canine support is compromised, hobo twin stage or hobo yoshiada for program disocclusion, program this in the wax up and provisionals. Mutually protected occlusion shows reduced muscle activity and fracture incidence compared to group function in contemporary reviews. Verification in provisionals. Three to six month wear period at the planned video. Assess the posterior disocclusion during excursions. Modify the glide plane chair side to eliminate any fremitus or fremitus induced wear on the provisionals. Long term provisionals allow biological and neuromuscular verification before committing to ceramics. Definitive restorations. Use high strength ceramics or indirect composites in low load areas. Copy the provisional occlusal morphology via silicone indexes or digital design transfer. Minimally invasive ceramics at a validated video have shown 94% plus 4-year survival rates in prospective trials. Post-delivery maintenance. Fit a hard acrylic protective night guard. Re-verify contacts at 48 hours, 1 month, 6 months and annual text scan evaluation if it's possible. Post-rehabilitation, parafunctional load are the chief cause of catastrophic ceramic failures. Guards half this risk. Remember additional tips. Use digital tools wisely. Tal principle for the localized anterior intrusion and an interdisciplinary collaboration via periodontal crown lengthening or implant site development may be staged to optimize the final occlusion and gingival architecture. Save it, share it.